guys, so I wanted to share with you today some swatches from the new Laura Mercier Artist Palette. Um, I purchased this through the Sephora Friends and Family Sale and I'm so glad that I did. And I really I made my decision based on some other YouTubers here that had posted videos showing swatches. And in my opinion, you can never see too many swatches of an eyeshadow or a palette when you're trying to decide if you wanna buy it for yourself. So I thought I would just show you the swatches of the palette that I have in my lighting and maybe that might help you if you were sort of on the fence about it or not sure if it was the right palette for you. Maybe these swatches might help you make your decision one way or the other. So let's dive right in and I will show you the shadows. Okay, so just to mention a few things about the palette, there are two luster shadows, six matte shadows, and four sateen shadows for a total of 12. So you really get a good value for your money with this palette. I am wearing the colors today. I think I'm wearing about five of them from the palette. This is definitely a departure for me, the look that I'm wearing. Um, I used all the like purpley violet colors. Let me give you a better look at that. So I just, you know, I'm playing around with it a little bit. Again, it's usually a palette that something that would be out of the norm for me, but that's the reason why I liked it so much. I didn't have any colors like this in my collection and I just really wanted something that was going to sort of force me into wearing brighter colors and different looks and not just get my normal taupe, you know, eyeshadows that I normally was. So that's why I was really drawn to this palette. So let me just show you this here. So as you can see, just a really beautiful mix of colors. You can really do as natural of a look as you wanted or as, you know, vivid of a look as you wanted. Like I did today, I, you know, I picked all these, you know, purple and violet colors, which was something different for me, but something I really enjoy doing. And if you want, at the end, I'll kind of go through and tell you what I did for this look today. Okay, so let's start here on the end with these two shadows. So the first one here is Oops, I put my finger on the wrong shadow right off the bat. That's not a good sign, just starting. Okay, so the first one here is Vanilla Nuts. And it looks like this. I've been wearing this color all over my lid as my canvas color just to sort of even things out and get a nice start to the eye look. So it looks like this right here, the first one. It's just a nice matte color. And all of these are very buttery, really good color payoff. There isn't a bad one of the bunch, I have to say. Okay, so now the next color I'm gonna show you is right here, and that is Sparkling Dew. It's very similar in color to the Vanilla Nuts, but this has a little bit more dimension to it because it is a sateen shadow. So you're not gonna see a big difference when I swatch these. So Vanilla Nuts is here on top and then the Sparkling Dew is here on bottom. Okay, so now moving down here, I'm going to show you Primrose, which is the next color in the palette. And I think this makes um, a really good highlighter also for like a peachier color. The Sparkling Dew is probably my favorite, but this is really pretty also. This would also be a really good all over lid color. As you can see, it's really just sort of neutral there swatch this on my hand. Really beautiful sort of peachy color. I am certain I don't have anything even close to this in my collection. So there it is right there. And you can already see, you know, you could really do super natural, not super natural, not like out of this world, but you could do super natural looks, very natural looks from this palette if you wanted to. Okay, now moving on to the next color, which is a Right here, this is Guava. I have not used this color yet. I was playing around with these. But it's just a nice pinky sort of shade. And let me put this below the Primrose here. It's a little bit lighter than Primrose, definitely more of a pink. When you see them swatched together, the Primrose has a little bit more peachiness to it, and then the Guava comes off as more like a definite pink. So that is down here. And now I'm gonna clean off my hand and then we'll move on to the next section of shadows. Okay, so the, for the next set of swatches I'm gonna show you, I've decided to start and go like with the purples all here so you can see those together. I thought that might be a little bit easier than you know moving up and down with this palette. I wanted to show you all the purples. So uh, the first one I'm gonna go for is right here is the African Violet. This is a beautiful color. This is one of the luster finishes. This and Bamboo are the two lusters. This is such a gorgeous color. 
definitely very unique to anything else I have seen. Um, let me show you this here. I am wearing this all over the lid today. So there it is right there. Just has a beautiful, beautiful finish to it. Okay, so the next color I'm going to show you is Plum Rose, which is the next one over here. And this is a uh, matte shade. Oh, I'm sorry, I said Plum Rose. I meant Plum Smoke. It's called Plum Smoke. So there is that. I'll put that right below the African Violet so you can see those next to each other. There was a little bit more fallout with these matte shadows, but they do have really good color payoff. So there it is. The plum smoke is right there. And then the next shadow I'm going to show you is right here, and that's Cure Royale, right there. This is such a pretty color. I really, really like this one. It's a little bit darker, definitely a little bit more color payoff. And this is one of the ones that does have a little bit more fallout. I'll pull that off so you don't see the... Um, okay, so here it is on my finger. And see how dark that is. This would make a really great liner color or an outer V color, which is how I am wearing it. So there it is right there. And then for the last of the sort of purpley shades, we have down here Violet Ink. So that's the next one I'm going to show you. Also another great liner color, which I am also wearing today. So you can really make a lot of beautiful looks with the purples in this palette. So there it is. There's the Violet Ink down there on the bottom. So this is African Violet up top and then Plum Smoke and then the Cure Royale and the Violet Ink down here on the bottom. As you can see, there's just lots of color combinations and possibilities of things that you could do with this. Okay, let me clean off my hand again so I can go back for more swatches and I will show you the last four on the bottom of the palette. Okay, so the last four shades I'm gonna show you are the ones that are right across here. So the first one that I am going to swatch is Fresco. And Fresco is definitely fast becoming my favorite blending shade. And I would probably use this outside of this palette as well. I just really love it. It's sort of a beautiful nude color. Um, I don't have anything else like it. I feel like all my other blending colors lean a little bit more taupe. And this one just definitely has a nude tone to it. So it looks like this. Just a really pretty color, really pretty blending color. So I'm enjoying that quite a bit. And it's actually coming off a little bit darker on my fingers. So let me swatch this on the hand so that you can see that. And this is the color that I use today as my blending color. I think it um, goes really well with all these purples in the palette. Makes a nice smooth transition. So there it is there. And then the next color we have, which is a beautiful lid color. This is the other Luster Inlet Palette. And this is Bamboo. This would make just great, if you want a really simple look, this would be really great for just all over the lid. So the bamboo looks like this. And again, all of these just have really nice color payoff. There isn't any of them that just don't give you a lot of color punch, so to speak. And this has a little bit more of like a bronzy tone to it. I really like that though. I'm really looking forward to using it. I haven't um, use this one in a look yet, but that's what that looks like. And then next, uh, the next one I'm going to show you is Truffle, which is right there. And this is sort of a, I think this would make a really good definition or outer V color if you were going for a more natural look and maybe just something that you wanted and just the outer V to add a little bit of definition. So let me show you this. So that is Truffle right there. I'll swatch that right below bamboo. And you can see, I think those would pair really well together. So there's truffle right there and that's bamboo. And then this is fresco. So you can see them all together. And then the final shade is espresso bean, which I think this would also make a really good liner color. 
and I did play around with this a little bit yesterday using it as a liner. This has excellent color payoff. That is really a dark, dark, dark shadow and lots of pigmentation and you barely have to touch it to get that level of pigmentation. And so there that is right there on the bottom. So we have the fresco, the bamboo, the truffle, and then the espresso bean down there on the bottom. And that is it. Those are all of the shadows in the palette. Let me just get you a look at this here again. There are just so many possibilities with this. I think it could be a lot of fun to just play around with and just go nuts. I don't know. There's just so many options. I look at this and I think you could go for an all purple look. You could get a really soft natural look. You could do an everyday sort of beige neutral look with the bamboo. I just think it's absolutely great. I've been kind of, like I said, playing around with it a little bit, doing different things. And I will now go through the colors that I use for this look today. Okay, so for the look that I am wearing today, if you're interested in seeing that, the first color that I used is Vanilla Nuts right here, which I like to use to just even out the color all over my lid and create a nice canvas. I used Fresco, which is right here, which I think is an excellent uh, blending or transition color. I used that. For all over my lid and up into the crease, I used African Violet. And then in my outer V, I used Kier Royale, which is right here. And then for my upper uh, eyeliner, I used this color here, Violet Ink. And then I also used the Violet Ink on the outer two thirds of my eye on the lower lid. And then on the inner lid, I used African Violet, which is right here. And then for my brow bone highlight, I went back and used Sparkling Dew, which is right here. So that is it. That is the look that I am wearing today. I thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out if you were trying to make a decision about whether or not you wanted to purchase this palette for yourself. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.